set thy people free from our fears and sins really Good morning to you, my dear friends in Christ. Today, Tuesday, 20th of December, 2022. Our first reading from the prophecy of Isaiah chapter 7, verse 28 to 38. A gospel reading taken from Luke chapter 1, verse 26 to 38. The theme of our reflection is the will of God in our lives. Two statements of Mary at the time of the Annunciation are important for understanding our relationship to God as our Savior. Let it be done to me, and I am the handmaid of the Lord. First, let it be done to me. Sin came into the world through human free will, and God wanted salvation to come into the world equally through human free will. And so, he sent Mary to seek her consent to the incarnation. St. Thomas Aquinas, in his book, The Prima Pass, Question 3, Article 1, taught that Mary, like a new Eve, the mother of all the living, gave her consent in the name of the whole human race. When Mary said, let it be done to me, the world, salvation came into the world. Salvation came into the world through Christ, and this was exactly when it began, the will of Mary. Dear friends, although Mary consented to salvation in her name, we all, on our own, must confirm the consent in our lives. This we must do by submitting ourselves to the will of God and his directions in our lives. To always say, like Mary, let it be done to me in my life, or let the will of God be done in my life. We must also remember the second statement of Mary in the Gospel reading of today. I am the handmaid. A maid servant is one who is totally dependent on her master. Mary, in her humility, her honesty recognized that she was totally dependent on God. As such, Mary could have given her consent without God's grace. Or Mary couldn't have given her consent without God's grace. Dear friends, as we await the coming of our Lord, let us learn to depend solely on his words and teachings in this period of Advent. May we be prepared to welcome him into our lives, our homes, our families, and our community, as well as our country, when it comes to us at Christmas. May God bless his words in our hearts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh, by, by.